Hi guys, I'm Jerusha and you're watching Jerush Couture TV. I have stopped in tonight to do a hopefully quicker video. This is going to be a review, of, uh, it's actually quite highly requested review on Louis Vuitton Damier Azure canvas is really really requested uh, not only for people to understand or to see or hear I guess my opinion on the canvas uh, but also if you've never owned the canvas before and you know maybe if it's for your lifestyle or not if you're similar to me or I'll give you other examples then this is a video for you to watch. The Damier Azure canvas which is the grey and cream squares or bluey cream squares a lot of people have a few different opinions on what the colours actually are uh, was designed in 2006 it was a French Riviera kind of really influenced by the that cruising French Riviera beautiful oceans and blues and things like that a very fresh clean crisp canvas so my collection of Damier Azure canvas I have in total three pieces my first ever piece of Damier Azure print or canvas was my PM agenda six ring agenda I picked this up in Hong Kong it was my first piece and it was actually my first piece made in Spain I was really excited for both items one to be made in Spain and two to be Damier Azure canvas I even got it hot stamped I was so excited at the time they hot stamped it in Hong Kong and this is my oldest piece that I have we're going to show this one up close but my second piece wasn't this <laughs> that I still own I guess would be this but my second piece was my Syracuse MM handbag if you've followed me for a while you may know it I will throw it in here it is the only handbag in Damia Azure that I have owned uh, which I'll get around to explaining why in fact I did sell it uh, but then this would be my current second piece and that is the Damia Azure clay you all know the clay with the chain that is my second piece and my third piece is brand new and in this little dust bag <laughs> brand new because I have not used it once it is so new that hopefully you can see the vaquetta leather up close there it's bright white because it has never never been outside in the sun I have never used this item but that makes great for this review because you'll see a brand new clean item versus my other canvases so this is the pochette accessoire or accessories the new model the NM size in Damia is your canvas and this would be my third item holding them all up together I don't know I'm doing this review at night in these lights because I think this will show the colour up the best. I've waited for the best sort of lighting and I'm pretty sure this is it. So even just holding them up there, I'm sure you can clearly see that just over time, this is four years and this is two years, I think the clay, you can see that just genuinely the cream squares get a lot of dirt and they just discolor darker over time. Okay, so just like my multicolor collection, I'm gonna bring these items up close and show you the wear and tear on them as best as I can, and then give you my opinion on them. Just up the agenda, hopefully you can see this. It worked with my multicolor items, but firstly, my button has tarnished in the middle there not sure if it's showing up so there's silver tarnish in the middle that's probably on most small leather goods it can happen but you can just see the color of the cream squares there is just sort of so much dirt on them it's really it's just almost yeah dirty that's the best way that I can describe it 
all of the glazing around the edges the white glazing is dirty as well it gets quite dirty it's not as if it's black or that sort of cherry red glazing that's on the monogram here I have the glazing is completely cracked away and you can see maybe on this end a bit better you can see that it's split there and continuing around each corner here is all dirty and pretty much split the interior which is the cream is just this, it's held up a lot better than the outside and this is actually leather so this is cowhide leather the lining and then the outside is canvas uh, but it probably has dirted dirted <laughs> dirtied a lot more than the uh, interior has so if I hold them side by side there again brand new canvas four year old canvas you can just see how it's sort of turned that yellow tinge almost like yeah it's dirty or it needs a bit of a scrub or whatnot uh, holding maybe the zipper and the glazing side by side there maybe you can get a good comparison but it's really just the way that the glazing let's see if I can get in there yeah it's really just the way that the glazing splits off so you can see it sort of splitting off there getting very dirt and just cracking uh, very a lot easier obviously than browner items I don't baby it at all it has had its fair share of being thrown around you can see some of the squares sort of starting to rub off here it has been thrown in and out of bags in and out of my never full as my briefcase and really well loved that's for sure but then with these items also I'm guessing like the zippy coin purse because it is a white zipper the cotton zipper your zipper is always <laughs> gonna go get dirty look at that you can wipe it down um, which my friend Kat hi Kat told me with you know a, a damp cloth and sort of nappy sand solution you can wipe it down to sort of get the dirt off at the end of the day but over time it's gonna discolor and in an SLG this size usually you know that really probably shouldn't bother you I guess but in a bag it is far more obvious and if you are super picky and fussy then I'm gonna tell you that Damier Azure canvas is probably not the best canvas for you so along with not only the canvas itself being quite delicate in the fact that it can dirt over time and get darker over time as you saw from just wear and stains and whatnot you also have on bags and uh, SLGs that have it you also have the natural cowhide vaquetta leather to worry about as well so here you can see a stark white vaquetta tab but if I just grab my speedy here and I grab my bandolier strap out of my speedy which I mean is just pure honey guys beehive just beehive putting that next to this canvas you can just see that at the end of the day five six years time that's what you're gonna have with a handbag you're gonna have patina vaquetta against this uh, Damia as your canvas and that is a real preference if you like it or if you don't okay so how do I combat cleaning these items well my trusty non-alcoholic so alcohol free baby wipes and these are in fact my same ones <laughs> from a year ago that's not really good on the canvases they are wipeable so I just give it a nice good wipe down getting off any sort of residue dirt and if you did this sort of every week I guess after use you would probably minimize the amount of sort of dirt okay well this is all just really makeup if you can see Sort of in the middle of the baby wipe just sort of makeup I guess so yeah that is what I do for cleaning now on to color transfer why did I sell my Syracuse MM I was 
so scared of using it after I got the smallest amount of color transfer. The lady I sold it to was like, there was like hardly anything there, but I freaked out about it. I didn't know it was that easy. And as we all know, someone only wears black. So if you're like me and all you wear is black and you live in denim jeans or black jeans, it's safe to say Demi Azure handbags are probably not the best for you because sitting on your hip and rubbing back and forward, it is going to get color transfer. But as far as a bag goes or a pochette accessoire NM, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to part with this baby. So I said in my last video that I'd be thinking of selling it again when I am a hundred percent sure of it I will let you know on Instagram follow me on Instagram if you don't and I will put it up on my blog sale but I'm pretty sure it's never been used and I'm probably just not gonna get there with it you know I'm not gonna get comfortable with the idea so in conclusion I would say if you are a light colored gal or guy, you wear light clothing, you like whites, you like sort of, you know, flowy, lighter colored dresses or things like that, then this canvas is probably great for you. Uh, if you are a more of sort of a not seasonal bag person, meaning you don't want to just have a bag only for summer, then maybe it's not for you because it's not the best canvas to run through the rain or you know run through dark cloudy days where it could rain uh, it's not good in humidity if you live in a humid country and yeah as much as it is a beautiful pretty canvas I will probably always stick to SLGs if you're gonna think why did I get this then it was because well I really wanted to see if I could do it again after the selling the Syracuse so I just wanted to see if I could do it again in a small sort of pochette handbags uh, clutch handbag size and well the answer is I can't we are probably definitely gonna sell that but SLGs for me in Damia Azure are definitely the answer but yeah all in all if it's from Vuitton it's good anyway. Okie doke, I hope that covers everything I needed to cover on wear and tear with this canvas. If there are any other questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video, guys. I hope everybody is doing really, really well. I will see you in my next video. Take care. Peace.